Will these lures catch fish or catch anglers wallets? In today's video, I'll be doing an unboxing and review of these lures and I'll let you know whether these are worth its value with a catch fish or again, we'll be taking your money. So guys, here's the story. I was at Dick's Sporting Goods and I was walking around the fishing aisle and I saw these guys on sale. Basically, they're $8.99 a piece, but they were selling three for $20 five for $30 and seven for $40. I was like, whoa, guys, look at this. I could probably get like a good amount because it is top water season. And dude, look at those cool looking props. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man. It also says it's an iCast award winning lure. So I was like, whoa, guys, let's go out there and see if we can slay some fish with this. So here is this cool looking lure right out the box, right? So the prop tail right here, it spins so well. Look at that. So yeah, right out of the box, I was like, dude, this thing, if it spins like this, it's probably gonna make a lot of commotion. It's gonna draw a lot of attention and it's gonna attract a lot of big fish. And look at the paint job of these. These are so realistic. I, I'm loving it and it's super duper soft. One thing you'll notice is that uh, this is basically like a hollow body frog, but the only thing that's different is that the top part is a little higher than you know your typical frog because frog doesn't have the fin on top. But because this thing is so soft, I was like, yeah, there shouldn't be any problems with uh, any sort of a hook set problems, right? Well, we'll see. So out of the box, everything looks really, really great. But let's talk about what happened when I got onto the water with these lures. So this is how it ended up in the end of the day, right? Let's talk about a couple things first. Let's talk about the prop right here, the propeller. Well, it's, it's fun, really great, but it's not like a whopper plopper or your other typical prop bait, buzz bait. It didn't really make any big prop plop sound or vibrations. But I can see that there is some sort of movement there. It's spun really well when it's uh, not clogged up. So it technically does work in open water situation or you're fishing the banks. You could definitely hear some sort of prop, uh, propping noise and that should attract some fish. But again, it's not like a whopper plopper making those big, big splashes. After a few casts, this thing soaks up with water and you gotta squeeze the water out. And if you don't, what happened is this thing sits too below the surface level when this thing is too low. It's not making those plops. So after a few casts, you gotta squeeze the water out. So I was fishing mainly in the open water near the banks, near the weed edges, and I wasn't catching much fish with this. And I had only one strike and I missed it completely. I was thinking maybe the fish was a little small and I wasn't able to set the hook right. But eventually I gave up fishing uh, in the open water because my buddy was catching a lot of fish. He was fishing directly in the mats. So I was like, you know what? I gotta fish closer to the mats. So I, I cast this into the mats, but man, each time I throw it in there, this propeller catches every single weed and algae, and every two or three casts, you have to strip those weeds out. If not, what happened is, this thing actually end up sinking, and it's taking more water. I mean, with a little bit of algae, it still spins, which is kind of surprising. But yeah, like I said, the, most, the biggest issue is that it's dragging weeds like behind it, and I was like, maybe it's not gonna uh, cause any reaction strikes. So what I have done was I pinch those algae off, you know, nonstop. I, you know, pull this back a little bit, get the algae out of the, the, the tail end. And as you can see, the lure started to lose some of its paint because I've been pinching it so much, which uh, disappointing. I only fished this probably three hours that day. But anyway, as I was fishing those heavy mats, I had so many blowups. I think I had like uh, four blowups total. But there was only two times where this lure was actually in the fish mouth, and I couldn't set the hook. The first time, it actually hooked on a side of its body. And the last time where I was for sure I had that fish. And I was like, man, what happened? So when I checked the lure, this hook was actually in the fin itself. And basically the fin was in its way. It couldn't penetrate into the fish mouth because it was stuck in between the fin. Man, third time, third time. This is a terrible lure, look at this. Look at this hook set. I hooked right into my own lure. See that? Oh my gosh, this is terrible. So what do you guys think about these Luckahan prop fish? I personally think it doesn't catch fish, it catches anglers and takes their money away. What are your experience with these lures? Have you guys caught any fish with it? Maybe you guys will leave me some tips below, but I'm thinking I'll be taking these back to Dick's and returning these because I could be buying other lures like uh, Boya Pad Crasher and I catch a lot more fish. In fact, right after 
I was uh, done with using this lure, I swapped to the pad crasher and I was hooking fish left and right. In fact, after I finish talking about this lure right here, I'm gonna leave a clip at the end of this video for you guys to enjoy because I caught an awesome fish using the Booyah Pad Crasher. But anyway, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video and this unboxing review of this lure. I'm telling you guys, just because it has a iCast award on it doesn't mean it does wonders. I mean, maybe if they're, they're bigger fish and I'm fishing only in the open or I'm fishing for snakeheads because snakeheads have a stronger bite force than um, a bass, maybe I'm able to get better hook set. I don't know. You guys have experience with this lure? Leave me some comments below. If you guys like these type of reviews, make sure you guys give me a big like. And if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and enjoy this awesome clip of this awesome catch. Tight lines, guys. Oh yeah. Oh no. Dude, I was, I was playing with one hand freaking fishing dude you guys can, should never play around with your fishing guys never play around never screw around guys <laughs> oh man that sucks he might bite again all right no more messing around guys this is a high speed reel i should be able to get that line up but you know, doing this one hand at a time, one finger reeling, it's not working. Oh, maybe it's a small fish. Who knows? One more time. Okay. No, no more messing around, guys. Well. He don't want it this time. Probably got smart. Oh, got him, got him. Telling you man, the Boya is a lot better. A lot better than uh, whatchamacallit. Whoa, it's a crappy. Top water crappy. What, what? Oh, holy smokes. Holy smokes, Yo, you see that? That's a slab. Whoa, oh my God. whoa, frog eater. Dude! Yo, 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 yo. Oh my right gosh! Right oh my gosh! Oh Holy my gosh! Holy snap! Holy smokes! <laughs> There's a frog in his mouth! There's a frog in his mouth! Yeah, and then the cap's right there. Oh man, this is crazy, guys! Damn, this is crazy! Frog eating crappy! Just um, check that camera. Yep. It's all good. It, it should be good. Oh man, that's crazy, guys! Look at this Damn. big slab! Holy smokes! You see that? Huge. Oh my gosh, holy smokes. You should eat that. <laughs> Every single fish I catch is like, you should eat that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yeah.